the AFU have once again used drones to attack Moscow. Both devices were neutralized by EW means. One fell in an uninhabited area near Putolkovo, the other in the Stupino district. Another Ukrainian UAV attacked the Soltsy military airfield in the Novgorod region. Damage was inflicted on the 222 M3 strategic bomber. The AFU attacked the railway station building in Kursk with a combat drone. During the raid, damage was sustained to the facade, waiting hall, pedestrian tunnel, and the first platform. Five people were injured. Russian troops once again conducted mass strikes on Ukrainian military facilities across the country. In the Kamelnitsky region, an ammunition depot at a military base near Lisa Hora was hit. In Chernihiv, a Russian missile struck the drama theater, where a conference on the development of unmanned aviation was being held. Preliminary reports indicate a high number of casualties among high-ranking Ukrainian officers and foreign advisors. Russian forces continue to press Ukrainian formations in Sinkove in the Kupyansk sector. Fierce fighting is ongoing within the town, as Ukrainian units are still holding on to its outskirts. The AFU continue to shell F Donbass frontline areas. Civilian infrastructure in Horlivka, Yasinuvata, and Donetsk came under fire. One person was killed, and at least six others were wounded. In the Vremivka sector, the enemy continues attempts to establish positions in forest belts to the east of Urozhain. Russian forces promptly detect Ukrainian movements and disperse them with artillery fire. In the Orakiv sector, Russian servicemen repel the AFU ongoing attacks in the vicinity of Robotyne. The enemy has managed to advance slightly into the village and simultaneously expand the controlled area near Verbov.